Good morning. It is Monday, October 2nd, um, day 18 on the Camino Frances. My name is Claudia. This is my Wonderless Camino. Welcome to my channel. It is 5 a.m. I know this is my earliest day yet. 5 a.m. Um, the high, right now it's 14 degrees, high of 33 today. I have a long day. Um, I'm going to Sahagun, and if you know, it is, and if you don't know, I'm telling, I'm going to tell you, it's 38 kilometers. Yeah, that's right. But it's 38 uh, flat kilometers. So, um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I have a room reserved. Um, I managed to get a one bedroom for 25 euros in Sahagun. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I am uh, just waiting for some ladies who also like to leave early. Um, so I'm walking with them. Suzanne is gonna start later because she doesn't have far to go today. Uh, I will chat to you later. So seven kilometers in this morning, there is a coffee bar, El Camino. <coughs> he has bacon and eggs and bread for six eighty uh, and sandwiches. And I see a coffee maker, coffee machine. One more, let's go. Everybody's helping set up. Am I retired? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Am I lollygagging? Yes. Should I be further ahead? Yes. Okay, let's do a little update. My knee is okay today. Uh, it's gonna be a long day, so we'll see. I think I'm gonna have an Advil uh, in the next town. Um, maybe have a proper breakfast too. And uh, what else? Oh, my shorts, uh, they shrank in the dryer yesterday, so these are my walking shorts. They're the only ones. Well, I have a pair of sleeping shorts, but these are my walking ones. They're a little tight on my thighs uh, and a little shorter. So there's that. Um, I'm also wearing different socks. My strategy was I'm wearing a uh, uh, one quarter darn tough hiking socks because they're a bit thicker. I'm gonna wear them in the morning now. And then, uh, let's say around lunchtime, I'm going to swap them out for the darn tough running socks because it'll be warmer by then. So they're a bit lighter. My problem with those are they have a hole by the toe one on each side but it hasn't me hasn't uh, bothered me at all yet so fingers crossed they'll be okay um, the Sun is out it is 8 30 uh, walking for 
13 and a half kilometers. That means we have another three and a half to go until the town, or four, until the town, the first town, walking for two hours and 40 minutes. Did I say it's 8.30? Yeah. And the sun is out, it's starting to warm up. Can already feel it? It will be hot today. Everyone's trying to beat the heat. I'm not going to be able to avoid it. Okay, check in later. that and that doesn't look like a town it just looks like a tower but I should be able to see it by now with just two kilometers less than two kilometers left it should be on the horizon so it is like Hontanas it's in a valley so I'm gonna stop it is 9 o'clock, uh, I've been walking for 3 hours and 15 minutes. <sighs> okay, we made it to Calzadilla de la Cruza. Um, supermarket there, a restaurant I guess. Leaving, Suzanne was there. Suzanne got there. Um, it is 9:30. I still have 22 kilometers left to go. Uh, the sun is out, but it still feels um, cool. So that's good. I took off my sunshirt, and lots of pilgrims out. Everyone's trying to get away from the sun. So 22 kilometers. Probably another four hours, and I'll take a break in Ledigos, which is another six kilometers. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Probably a quick break. Uh, yeah, so let's get going. Let's get it done. Feeling good. So that is the Camino path. I've been walking on it for all, like all morning. It's been that gravel path. Uh, decided to walk on the shoulder. This road has fairly little traffic. Of course I say this and a uh, car drives by. But uh, it, it's so hard on your feet and legs. Um, there's some locals, there's some pilgrims on the pilgrim path, but I just needed a bit of a break from that gravel, hard rock path. Um, so I haven't seen a car in like 10 minutes and now two cars pass by. But uh, yep, yeah, so I'm walking on the shoulder. But it's a pretty wide shoulder um, and just all straight so I can see the cars coming and there's locals in front of me so I'm I feel safe. Hello, I'm 
back. It is 10.30. I just got to Ladigos. Um, that means 22 and a half kilometers, four and a half hours. I have 15 kilometers left. And it's, what did I say, 10.30? Yeah, 10.30. Okay, I am going to take a break. Uh, I'm going to take a break. Uh, switch my socks, use the washroom, have something to drink, and then move on. So this is where um, my whole crew is staying. Dan, Marenka, the ladies from this morning, Joanne, Pam, Elaine, they're all staying here. Uh, actually at the same albergue. So it's a 22 kilometer day for them today. I think most people would stay at Alberga La Morena in Laricos. It's supposed to be very good. I'm assuming this is it. Yeah, I just have to show you my shoes from this morning. Like... <laughs> got an Aquarius. I don't know if you can hear me. The music's pretty loud. And then she gave me two little cookies. I also have a yogurt. I think I'm gonna have that. I was wrong. They're not cookies. They're like mini sugar donuts. Very good. my 20 minute maybe a half hour break in Ladigos. I took my socks off. They were filthy. I wiped down my feet with feet my feet with some wipes, clean them off, put some Dr. Bronner magic balm on there so they're all tingly. Uh, and put my clean darn tough running socks on. Um Put some more of that anti-inflammatory cream on my knee. Had an Aquarius with those two little donuts that she gave me. Uh, and I'm off. I have 15 kilometers to go. And it's 11 a.m. I feel good. My knee feels good. My feet a little tired just from that uh, road. Walking on those rocks was kind of hard. Uh, so I am not taking the alternative road. I think it adds an extra, few, I think like a kilometer or something, maybe more. I can't remember, but, uh, and it takes you away from walking on the main road. Uh, I don't want to ex add extra kilometers today. I'm okay with walking along the road. Um, I just want to get it done at this point. Yeah. Um, temperature. It feels like it might be 17, 18 degrees. Not too bad yet, but the sun is out. Uh, in the sun, it's hot. So, um, yeah, so 15 kilometers. It's 11. I don't know, maybe another two and a half, three hours until I get there. I'm pretty happy with that if I make it there by. So what would that be? By 1.30, 2 o'clock? I'd... Wow. Yeah, I'd be super happy. Probably it'll be closer to 3, which that's fine too. I still have time to do my laundry. Although I'm staying in a pension, um, so I don't know how that's going to work as far as washing my clothes, but I definitely need to wash my socks. Uh, they are filthy. So they have us walking uh, in this gravel path beside the road. I'm not happy about the gravel path. It's like this same thing that we had yesterday and all of this morning. But I'll take the shade. I'm happy with the shade. This is, you know. The longer I can stay in the shade, the better. It's 
1215. Uh, 28 kilometers I walked. I'm walking on the side of the road. The pilgrim's path is a bit further up, but it, it's along the side of the road. Uh, I gotta be honest, I wasn't feeling very safe. There's like bushes from one side, bushes from the other. I've been walking for, I don't know, five kilometers by myself. No one around. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm being paranoid that maybe somebody's gonna jump out of the bushes or something, right? Uh, so I thought walking on the side of the road may be a bit safer. So, yeah. alone and you know and nowhere so I feel a lot better now that I see people especially like I passed him but I see two pilgrims right ahead of me I see Sahagun and we're in the Provincia de Leon you are here and I still have all of this to go and more. I made it to Sahagun. We're here. I'm, more, I'm walking at such a slow pace. My feet hurt just from all the gravel road. Uh, 154. 36 and a half kilometers, uh, seven hours and 25 minutes, I'm just on the outskirts of Sahago. I'm tired, my legs are tired, my hips are tired, uh, I'm hot, and I just want to find where I'm staying, uh, take a cold shower, uh, Assuming everything is gonna close between two and five. Usually they serve lunch until four. So I might be, I don't, I might grab lunch. Uh, I'm not sure if my place has a menu down here for dinner. So I have to check. I, I did it! I did it! I think by the time I get to my place, I might be at 38 for the day. That's the longest yet. 38 and I'm halfway. Halfway. So this is where I'm staying. Hostel is, uh, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people are staying here, but it was 25 euros. Okay, I'm going to show you around. Um, this was 25 euros. So a bathroom with a bidet a bathtub, and then uh, two twin beds, a TV, and a closet, and that's it. 25 euros, not bad, in Sahagun. It's so funny, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. And you don't see what you don't see anyone. Everything is closed. In Sahagun, you can get your 
halfway certificate if you started in St. Jean. So if you started in St. Jean, you can get your halfway certificate in Sahagun. Um, I am not going to get my halfway certificate because I'm going to walk all the way and uh, I wouldn't have anywhere to put it and it's something I have to carry. I have be worried about getting it all squished so I won't be doing that it's 4 20 in the afternoon like you don't see anyone outside are the ruins of the Monasterio de San Facundo. We are halfway! Yay! Halfway! I can't believe it. Halfway! Uh, I have so today is Monday. Two weeks from today, I'll be walking into Santiago. That is crazy. Crazy. So it take me, it took me three, three weeks to go halfway, and then I'm going to do the rest of the uh, whatever is left over in two weeks. Uh, yeah, so today went well. No hiccups, no nothing. It was pretty hard on my feet, just like walking on the gravel gravel path that was hard I walked on the road some parts just to give my feet a bit of a break they're pretty tired pretty achy tonight my knee is good no problem with my knee um yeah so I did it in seven hours that's not too bad seven and a bit um tomorrow I won't get as an early start I don't need to um, yeah, so halfway total cost for today was 50 euros, 25 euros for the room, which I highly recommend if you're in Sahagun, like 25 euros, you get your own room. Like if you remember some of the albergues, I've paid 40 euros. Okay. It was with a meal, so you don't get a meal here, but still. 25 you get your own room I had a bathtub that was nice um, so what else oh when I got in I had a lunch I had lunch that was 15 euros and then what else breakfast first breakfast was 450 and second breakfast was 450 um, and then I went to the grocery store and got water a peach and four yogurts and that was a dollar I mean a euro 70 so pretty cheap um, so I have some yogurt for tomorrow and I have water uh, yeah that's it tomorrow not as hot a high of 24 which will be very welcomed I'm very happy about that I think we're done with the heat I think for the next few days it'll be 24 and I think then they're calling for some rain next week um so that that is it that's all I got for you today I'm pretty tired I'm gonna get an early night I didn't go for dinner um I just if I'm hungry I'm gonna have yogurt and I have some walnuts still um yeah see you tomorrow